Hello. Hello, everyone. Hi guys, welcome. Hello, hello. I'm just gonna see what color I make if I mix these two a little bit. Because um, somebody, I think it was Stephanie. She, how to call it, requested lavender nails and i want to use my hello kitty already so i was like you know what girl we're gonna include my hello kitty charm purple like this could be one hand and then mine when i do my nails is gonna be pink because you know we can't give hello kitty i mean toxica both fucking bomb sets so my nails didn't pop off guys i tried they stuck i'm mixing a little bit of the lavender color with number 112 to see if i can darken it up just a tad bit um let's see if i like it or not but i'm like didn't even do anything i feel like maybe a little bit more Purple is your favorite color. Okay, amigas, que nos vas a enseñar. Hoy vamos a hacer unas uñas. To be honest, I don't even know what exactly I am going to do. But I feel like taking it back a little bit, back in the day. Plus a little twist with today. So definitely I want to incorporate my little Hello Kitty charms. Maybe... I could do like a junk nail. I think that's purple enough. Yeah. It's still kind of lavender vibes, but I don't even know. So this is what I have in my table so far that I brought out. That I want to include maybe my purple bling bling. I don't know if the white one. Or the small. We need variety. I brought out my Hello Kitty charms and I put, I mean, I brought out two bows because I don't know if I'm going to want the pearls or I'm going to want the bling. And then I also have these bling blings because um, I was watching Lori's live last night and that fucking cluster on her nails was like fire. And then also I was like, maybe I could include these little sparkle, sparkle thingy majingies somewhere in there. I don't know. And let's see what we come up with, bish. And then I want to use crushed diamond as well. And I probably... <laughs> Too many ideas delayed. Sounds like two sets over here. Purple sugar. I don't know. Let's see what happens. So let's get started, guys. I already shoved these nails into my my homegirl right here. I hate when I have too many ideas. Like, I go crazy. But I just don't want to give her my ideas, you know? Fuck this bitch. She's not even real. But she's going to get blinged out. So, like, I'm even considering doing a thumb today. Your nails have not come off. No, girl. I tried to pop it off. Like, it's coming off a little bit, but not really. It's, like, stuck. I could feel like it's stuck. All right, let me just cut the ring finger a little bit because that one is slightly longer. And the pinky as well. Just like that. All right, so I think I'm going to include zebra print. Is that a little ratchet? We need a thumb because we've been doing nails way too fast these days. All right, we'll include a thumb. A thumb nail. What size would she be? Oh, 
of it. Ma'am, what size is your thumb? Use this gorgeous holographic purple glitter. Um, San Juana, I don't know if I have that color in my room here. I may have another type of purple that's similar. Yes, give me one second. I'll show you my nails right now. They're a little crusty right now because I didn't put no cuticle oil. My, my video for this set will be up tomorrow. I already uploaded it to my YouTube and everything. It just needs to get clicked. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the pinky nail. I'm going to start off with the pinky nail. And I think I'm going to do something like diagonal. I'll do the white first. I'm going to do zebra print with cheetah. I mean, the fuck cheetah with Hello Kitty. Hey, Zule, I was on your site. Are you out of the super mat? Oh, no, I haven't put it on my website. <laughs> I forgot, girl. I only have the velvet mat, but not the super mat. I forgot to put that one on my store. It's like I put up one item and then I forget another one. That's what happens. So I guess it doesn't really matter if the squiggly is good or not. I just want it to be kind of diagonally. Because at the end of the day, we're going to put some bling or some shit. Hey, Zule. Hey. So I'm using my number 12 brush right now just in case y'all like... What brush are you using? I went small right now. I was on the site. Oh, wait. Ah, you know me. You said Superman and I was hunting it down. <laughs> yeah, I, I haven't put it yet. I was giving that one out for free on on Sunday, actually. Ooh, this purple is a nice little purple. Make sure you guys follow me on all my social medias because sometimes... I get a little generous on random moments of my life and I'll post on different platforms. Like, I think this time I announced it on, I don't know if I announced it on TikTok, but for sure it started out at my Zule nail shop first. Hold on, let me clean a little glitter. Anyone catch Porsche premiere today and... Oh, girl, I told my YouTube channel to notify me when it happened. I think I was cooking breakfast that I totally missed it, but I did watch the video after. And, oh, honey, let me tell you, I want an ice cream nail now. But I was like, girl, it's a little intimidating. So for this purple, I mixed lavender. And a tad bit of number 112 just to darken it up a little bit. Only because lavender is uh, more like pastel. I should have just named it pastel purple or something. But I just felt like everybody has that name on their purple. So I was like, eh, we're going to call it lavender. Lavender. All right, so for sure, that one is going to be some zebra print. Let's see. Should I do a marble with this? Yes, I think so. I know. I think I need to give... One of y'all needs to text me and be like, Hello, Zule, where you at, girl? Because I was so into making breakfast that I... Does it like ding or something when the notification comes in? Because I didn't hear nothing. I put my thing like reminder and I didn't hear nothing. I was being a senora making breakfast. Making, making breakfast. So I'm going to use, wait. I'm going to use a little bit of the number 112 for my marble that I'm going to do. 
the lavender and white. I mean, my mix. I'm going to do this marble on the middle finger. Only because I have no idea where which other finger to do. I don't know what's up with me and marble lately, but I just be liking it a lot. I was probably sleeping. Yeah, you were because it's a little earlier for you. So I'm just gonna do a little a little marble action here. No, these are not the chrome nails. I'm gonna do them on myself, not Toxica, because they're gonna be super bedazzled. You already know that. Bling bling bling. I was actually gonna use number sixteen sixty six, I believe, to make it darker, but I was like, maybe that's a little too dark today. Use a lighter. A lighter one. No toxica, you don't get the bling. This bitch is gonna get the bling, but not my type of bling. She she can kick rocks. Me está haciendo mi café. Right now we're gonna we're gonna spice up this marble with a little bit of spackle. Yeah, Patrick is me focusing on how she does a marble. Mm -hmm. Focus right into it. Like literally, just move your brush. There's nothing special about the marble. Just work a little wet, move that bitch around, like, like that, you know? Like, just move it around. Just don't move too much because then you're going to mix the colors together and then you're just going to have one new color instead of a marble. You know? So check it out. That's like grape swirl. Now we're going to upgrade it to some flitter. I'm going to use some diamond, crushed diamonds, I mean, just to, oh my God, it looks so pretty, you know, just to give it some life. Look at, wow. And then we're going to add some little specks of sparkle. Like just random ones. I believe there's small ones mixed in here too, but for some reason, all the big ones came out on the package. There's like baby ones and medium ones. Oh shit, let me zoom it in. <laughs> wow. Doesn't the sparkle just make a big difference? Like, oh my God. Like, bitch, put some more. Make a whole solar system out of this bitch. Who cares? Toxica likes sparkles. You could even layer them. Look at, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right, so right now it's looking a little bleh because there's not much color going on, but give me a second. I'm going to be putting some zebra stripes up in that bitch right now. Okay. I'm going to do the ring finger, the, the, what is it called? Ow, I put my hair. I'm going to do the ring finger, the, the bling bling with the charm. So I'm just going to do that one fully. Crushed diamonds. Because it's going to get covered anyway. So might as well make it sparkle a little bit. Oh shit, hold on. I lost the live on my phone. I should probably get my bigger brush, huh? 
What are your favorite fall color acrylics? That's a tough one. They're all so pretty. But my ultimate favorite has to be chameleon number three. I did my nails with that color last year. Oh my God, they were fire. And number 16, bomb. We have some new fall colors coming. So I feel like I'm like hella in love. Look, let me give you guys a sneak peek of one. I haven't put the top coat on it yet, but girl, look at this one. It's like, I, I called it pumpkin pie. Look, let me put the top coat. Hold on, hold on. I was just watching this one earlier. Well, I just put it on there a little bit. I'm not sure if you guys could see the actual color, but it's like a nice orange. Mm, I should call it pumpkin latte or something like, mm. it just makes me hungry. I love pumpkin pie. I don't think I'm gonna be using these sparkles anymore. So I'm just gonna go like this. I have one that's called Pumpkin Spice. So many pumpkins because I love everything pumpkin related. I do have about eight colors that are already on the website from last year. I never took them off because I feel like people like to order all year round random colors that we need in our collection. And... They are very beautiful. Pumpkin pie is fire. Mm-hmm. And we're going to be adding to that fall collection. I'm going to be adding the pumpkin pie color to the scoops, actually. And the diamond, this color, diamond, crushed diamond. I actually added this one to the website only because I feel like everybody needs it in their life. This color I'm going to do all zebra and then I'm going to add bling -ling 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 -ling. Woo, the coffee is here. Thank you, Patrick. What happened to the cup? What do you mean the cup? It's like splatter. Look at it. Oh, um, the coffee machine wanted to be nice. And give you a little bit extra coffee, but it told me about like a, a minute later, so it can. Oh, I ran out of water. That's why. Huh? No, it's still water inside. Mm. Well, thank you, Patrick. We needed the fuel. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, pumpkin spice. Tastes a little funny. I tried it the other day in my churro pumpkin cheesecake that I made. And I was like, uh, I could do without it. So I'm going to do the index finger white since it's going to have mostly zebra action with bling to match the pinky. So I'm just going to do it all white. I'm going to do it all white. And once I get to the top, like once I file and everything, I'm going to do the zebra stripes. Normally, I would do them um, before and then encapsulate them. But I want them to look as black as possible, the lines. Um, because sometimes I feel like when I encapsulate the color, the gel... It it can it doesn't look as black as I want it, and you know the zebra stripes need to be dark, so they need to be popping. Tastes nothing like pumpkin pie. I know it's like what the hell, what the hell. My favorite drill bit for removing acrylic is the three x, the three x coarse bit from my website. That one is my ultimate favorite. I use it all the time. 
they're gonna have a hello kitty charm they're not gonna be specifically hello kitty those are gonna be for me i'm i'm just gonna use the charm because i can't wait i think i'm gonna put the bow on the middle finger i don't fucking know i don't know and i don't care i just want to use it already Zule was a secret to keep your brushes clean and not drying with acrylic. You need the secret is to clean them as you work. So see, I'm applying the bead here. You're gonna wipe it in your thing, in your napkin. You put it in the monomer and then keep working. Don't be afraid to add more monomer to your brush. Like yeah, we just wiped it off right now, the excess, but at the same time, you're cleaning your brush. So it is really important, see right there, I just wiped it again, and I wiped it again, and I wiped it again, um, is removing any acrylic that's left on the brush. If you guys don't do this, all this fucking wiping or whatever, it will, um, the acrylic will stay in your little bristles, and they will get stuck. Also, if you apply too wet sometimes, I feel like the acrylic stays in the bristles, or if you apply too dry. So you have to kind of figure out your the dry time of your acrylics, you know? So right here, I have a little bit on this side. I'm gonna clean it and it's gone. And the thumb, what should I do to the thumb? Should I make a Frenchie on the thumb? I feel like I want to do a Frenchie, but then I don't know if I should. What do you guys think? Should I be brave? I'm also going to do 3D flowers on here. Hola, como estas? Hola. Hey, girl. Yes. Okay. Maybe I could do the the French um, with a sugar. Sugar, sugar. Let me just find a good pink i've been putting away my colors so i'm like i'm just gonna use whatever's on the fucking table i guess i'll do luscious pink because this is the one on the table luscious donde compraste tu manita la compré con glamour liz so i wanna kind of should i do a sugar or, yes, do sugar, 3D flowers, and a Frenchie. Oh, okay, honey, the whole shebang. Okay, well, then I'm just going to do the whole nail, the this color, and then I'll paint, I'll paint it later with the sugar. I placed a bling order earlier. I can't wait. Yes, honey. Which bling blings did you order? So there's a little bit of glitter on my luscious pink, which we're not even going to bother to remove because it's going to get covered later. Maybe just this one up here. We're going to add more glitter when I paint the French. Um, I started off using the number 12 brush and right now I'm using the number 24. I had to um, go back to the big one because... The small one is just not working out. Was well, working out, but I'm about to encapsulate them, so I need something bigger. Go big, go home. What's the name of the nail brush? They are from my website. They are my, I guess, Zule brush. Zule brush, honey. This color is so pretty. I can't wait to do my Hello Kitty nails. Hello Kitty. Does anybody in here not like Hello Kitty? Raise your hand if you do not like the kitty. The Hello. Hello Kitty. Oh my God, me either. I'm excited to for the Hello Kitty set. I know I'm over here hyping it up and watch it be ugly as fuck when I do it. <laughs> I was actually thinking that maybe when I do my Hello Kitty set, I'll do both hands. What do you guys think? 
mine, my both hands. But I feel like I'm going to take ages doing them. Are you guys ready for a whole boot camp that day? Are you going to save this for YouTube? I can't stay on live. Girl, why not? Where are you going? All right, so the acrylic is nice and thin. I'm missing a little piece on the sides. I try my best to save the lives. The one life that I didn't get to to save, actually, like it doesn't even show up on my TikTok, was when I removed the nails the other day. And then, <laughs> Zoo Lane. Um, and the unicorn one, I haven't even attempted to, to, what is it called? To download either because I already know the quality is going to be horrible. A Disney princess set. This one will, right now probably falls into the... Um, the princess, what the fuck is her name? The one that's Sophia, Sophia the first. Each finger represents a Disney princess. Okay, girl, work at 7 a.m. It's 10 22 in Florida. Okay, all right, Lizzie girl, don't worry, it will be up in a few days. Why are you putting in a little piggy, huh? You should do a Beauty and the Beast set with Citroen. Ooh. I'm going to have to line those up. Between me and Portia, we're going to have to do these sets because Portia was asking on her channel today um, to give her ideas. Huh, Portia? So maybe we could um, collab on these ideas because I can't think of that many things. My hand models tore up. Mm -hmm. She is. I think there's a layer on top. Um, um, Liz was telling me that there's like a clear layer. So that's what's coming off. She's shedding. I used to think that I was pretty soft at filing, but I guess not. I'd be peeling the bitch's hands. I always got ideas. <laughs> Disney princess set Portia. <laughs> She's like, damn it. You got this. We got this. We're going to start brainstorming. All right, let me encapsulate. Zule, we can put ideas in a jar and you and I split them. Yes, that would be so fun. Like... We could make a TikTok like, which nail set am I going to do today? And then, boom. That way we have more engagement to make it more fun. Like, let me put pull a paper out of my jar. People seem to like that stuff. Um, The hand is from... Mm, fuck, I forgot her name already. Hold on. Give me a second. Glamourliz.com. For some reason, I wanted to say Mary. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb. Like, ma'am, you're going to need to fold your finger a little bit because I can't get to the other finger. I can't. Glamour Liz. Mm-hmm. I had a little brain fart for a second right there. So I'm not really gonna give this bitch no apex. She's just gonna have a flat nail. Like she thick, she juicy, but she's not she don't like apex. Toxica says she don't like no no proper apex on her nails. She likes to feel like she's slim. And the only place she's gonna be ever slim is the nail. That's what she said. That's what she said. Not me, okay, guys. 
Is that supposed to be an ombre? No, it's not an ombre. It was originally supposed to be a diagonal, but then uh, it didn't turn out into a diagonal now. <laughs> but we're gonna put a division of something right there. So y'all will see, y'all will see. Yeah, she, she's like, you know what? Just make me skinny from somewhere. Had me scared for a sec. <laughs> I have to go to work tomorrow, guys. I have to drive my ass to work. Someone save me. What is an apex? An apex is the pretty much right here. I don't know how to explain it right now because I'm kind of sleepy, but pretty much where the strength of the nail goes. And that normally is where the natural nail and the nail tip meet. So as the longer the nails, the longer the nail is, the thicker it should be but it does not have to be pregnant either just thick enough to reinforce the nail yes i do hate the drive i think i'm just used to like my husband been driving for me recently but tomorrow he can't take me because um, Patrick has picture day tomorrow at school. He went to get a haircut today. He looks so handsome. The girl that cut his hair did a bomb ass job. She did a bomb ass job. I was like, okay, girlfriend. You about to be Patrick's new baba, honey. I forgot I told um I need to tell Patrick he owes me for his haircut. Eh, just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> LA traffic is the worst. Yes, girl. But the thing is that I finally figured out what times I should avoid coming home so that I don't really catch traffic. It's just the commute period is horrible. Once it took me three hours to get home. Can you guys believe that? Three hours. Never again. I just learned my lesson. Do not leave during traffic. Leave when it's nighttime already because, girl. Hold on. Let me put a little glove on my nails because I don't want to mess them up anymore. I already have acrylic on the side right here. I was like, damn, I should have been putting a glove. Say my husband says he leaves at 7 p.m. Yes. Anytime after 7, the, the drive is a lot better. But still, the miles kill you. Well, at least they make me sleepy. I be throwing out all kinds of, like, all the napkins all the time, so... You don't rip through your gloves? Yes. Um, my thumb normally rips through my glove only. The rest, not really. But I'm just used to wearing a glove. I feel weird without it, to be honest. That's why I feel like I have to put it on. He works in Compton, and we live over here in the IE, too. Oh, hell no, girl. How does he do it? How does he do it? I give props to everybody that actually does that drive daily. I only do it twice a week. And I'm like, mm, I don't know. Zule, you need to get the Viva paper towels. They're so good. I like them better than the blue. I actually bought some for my nail class. I like them too. I have some at the salon for backup for when I don't have the blue ones. I was supposed to bring them home, but. I kept them over there for a backup because my dumbass will run out of napkins and then I'll be fucked. 
but surprisingly i was like okay i really like them also i just like to use these i guess because they're more accessible to me um i'm not sure if they sell the viva ones at stater bros because that's close to my house but they have these at costco so that's normally where i buy them or if i ever go to walmart then i get the the viva ones does shipping cost money yes shipping is expensive that's one thing why I don't really like to ship international because people complain about the shipping. And it's like, I don't make up the prices. Like, it's already expensive domestic shipping. Imagine international. Good Lord. Just get them from Home Depot. They have the big packs of the Viva. The Viva towels. I'm just going to put a little bit more right here. Does have smell. What? When are you getting a store? Mm, I don't know if I'm ever going to get a store. It is expensive to have a store. Um, did I share with you guys the rain, the rate, how expensive rent is? I was like, oh my Lord, I'm good with my little room here doing YouTube videos. She's asking if your monomer smells all monomer smell. You just need to open up your windows um oh man i fucked this one up what the hell it's okay it's okay it's okay um we have to open up the windows get a trash can that has a lid like if i lived in another state i would have had a store already but fuck that here in california it is ridiculous how expensive it is i mean obviously you gotta spend money to make money but especially right now with how the economy is and just fucking covid like nothing is really like stable in a sense so i don't know if i would really want to do that right now we did look at some places a while back because we thought I was ready. But after I saw the prices, I'm like, ooh, honey. Hmm. Keep your little room because rent is nuts. Oh, for some reason, I thought I saw keep your little titties in your room. <laughs> oh, minimum. One bedroom out there are like 3K. Yeah. They're really expensive. But minimum rent that I stumbled across was two grand and it was little as shit. Oh my God, Zule, stop. Zule, you fucking shit up. Now I know where it's getting messed up. What about low garage sale of your product? Um, I'm not allowed to have garage sales. And I don't think I want people to know where I live. Because people be crazy. I'm not saying y'all crazy or nothing like that. But just... Uh-uh. I'm trying to keep my business separate from my, my job. I would like to do pop-ups. But they're not as easy as they sound. Like... First, I need to find somebody that can rent me a space or whatever, you know. I don't know. There's more legal things behind things like that. Pop-ups. Like, you can't just pop up anywhere. You need permission. You need permission. Well, at least here in California, shit is strict. Like, if somebody falls 
or something like that, then the owner of the place is responsible, you know. So do they really want me to bring all these girls to meet up and they're responsible? So things like that is what people have to consider. And here in California, everyone and their mama want to sue people. So most likely they're not going to let me, you know. I saw there was like a, um, right here in San Bernardino. Oh, a convention meetup. Um, I need to look that up. I actually saw there's like a swap me looking thing. Like 30 miles from here, which is still pretty far, but I mean, it's better than LA. But I have to check on the details. No más no me vayan a pedir swap me prices, okay? Five dollar, five dollar, five dollar. No, que five dollar ni que nada. And this for, and that's for a cheap one. That's why everyone moved to the IE area. Uh-huh. The IE was cheaper, but now it's starting to get expensive with everybody moving here. Me included. <laughs> They're going to try haggling you. They did, actually, when I had... Well, not really, but yes. Yes and no. When I did my pop-ups, I feel like some some lady or two tried to, like... I don't know how to explain it, but I felt like they were trying to make me sell them my product. Like, why? Like, somebody literally told me, like, how is this one better than Valentino or something like that? And it's like, I was like, uh, why would you come to my papa van and ask me that? Like, do you not trust me or something, honey? But like, both brands are good, you know? So it's like, I don't know how to feel about that. But I was like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna come and kiss nobody's ass. Like, you know, like, either you want it or you don't want it. Like, do you trust me or not? So, things like that. And I had to, like, keep under control. Like, Zule, keep your emotions under control or whatever. Like, don't let these one or two ladies get you mad or bothered, hot and bothered. I was like, no. So, I was like, I'm not going to force you to buy nothing. Like, you could just come say, hey, girl. Or whatever, but they were acting like weird as shit. So, yeah. It's hard to deal with people. That's why I I kind of like it to do those type of things, like a pop-up or whatever. Because I don't want to deal with those unnecessary people. And I know I should not... I should not care about them but it's like oh am i gonna fight somebody today <laughs> all business experiences that so don't feel bad i make a car sales person sell me the car i make a car sales person sell me the car no yeah i, I totally get it but i'm like uh, do i really want to deal with that are your products on Amazon? No, ma'am. They are not on Amazon. I'm trying to avoid Amazon as much as I can because I feel like Amazon is taking over every little business. I mean, there's small businesses that are on Amazon too, but little by little is like little small businesses like myself and others are going to be non-existent because everybody and their mom will be shopping on Amazon. And I'm like, no, I refuse. I refuse to buy shit on Amazon too because I want to support my local small businesses. But if and when I ever have to go on Amazon because whatever the reason is, then I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to join the club. But i rather not because I really like to conversate with my shoppers, you know? Like, if I were to be selling on Amazon, I will not, you guys will not be able to text me. Like, hey, Zulay, da -da 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 -da. be 
be like, mm, sorry, talk to Amazon representative. Nah. <laughs> you know, like I feel like um, it's different. They don't really care for your stuff like I care. Como dicen, es mejor hacerlo tú. No, ¿cómo va? Nobody's going to do it like you are. Or nobody's going to care about your business like you are. So, yeah. Ya me dio calor a la verga. Hello. Let's shape these little bitches up so we can do the bling bling and the zebra action. Oh, what you say? Do you ever do mobile appointments? Oh, hi, Stacy. I do not do them anymore, but when I started, I did do them. That was a way that I started doing nails, actually, the mobile. Look, my glove ripped already. Is that 80 by 100? Yes, this one is an 80 by 100 square file. Any tips for that? Personally, I, if, I, if you don't have anywhere to do nails, then that's a good way to start and get your clientele. When I used to do people's like um, nails at their house, I didn't charge them a fee. Now people charge a travel fee, which I totally understand because, bitch, gas is expensive. And you are going out of your way and going to their house. But, look, I already shaved off of peace. But, again, if you have nowhere else to do their nails, then I don't think you should charge a convenience fee of going to their house. Because we had, well, at least me, I had nowhere else to do them. So, it's like, it's not an inconvenience because I can't bring you to my house. Um, but be prepared to travel with a whole table. Be prepared to travel with a table, with a light, a lamp. And because some people will not be ready for you. Even though they know you're coming, they're going to have no space for you. And what I mean by that is there's going to be, they're going to sit you in the darkest room of their fucking house. With no extension, no light, um, ¿cómo se llama? the outlet, none near you. So that well, those were my experiences back in the day. They knew I was fucking coming and they was make me sit in a room where all the fucking couch was blocking the 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 power outlet. So I had to literally start carrying. I had to start carrying uh uh what is it called? An extension cord, okay? I carried an extension cord, my own motherfucking lamp, my desk lamp, because like I said, some of these hoes didn't have any any lighting. And I almost had to carry my own chair too. And the reason why I carried my own table was because most of the time too, they would sit me on their dinner table. And and that is not comfortable let me tell you like angling yourself like that is gonna hurt so i just got one of those foldable tables and that's what i will carry and then also it in a way it's a pain in the ass because you have to carry a lot of shit right like a, a customer will tell you i'm gonna want pink nails but then when you get there they're like i'm ah, just kidding i want i want purple nails I want black nails, but you didn't you didn't bring those colors. So you have to try to guess their fucking like what they're gonna want. Sorry, I'm trying to get a stupid sanding band out of here, but I can't pull it out. Yeah, so I would take extra colors and then yeah. And then little by little you'll learn like what you should bring when and things like that. And then be prepared to hear their husbands complain about the smell. I can't reach. I had the bad experience for a short time. What do you mean you can't reach? My man loves your products and he doesn't even do nails. He can just tell you have good quality. Aw. Good job, boyfriend. My dad made me a 30-foot extension cord, but the orange ones with four outlets, but A, works. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, so all of that were things that I ran into and I was like, oh my lord. I mean, again, I didn't really care. I didn't really mind because I all I wanted to do was nails, shit. I would have my little carrito, my little Honda with my little maletita in the back seat. So I'm going to file the tips really quickly um, with my on-point sanding disc. So normally I don't have a box to show you guys it, but here it is. And either you buy the bit by itself or the sanding bands, or you can buy it in a set. You buy both of them together. Because some girl gave me attitude the other day saying, because she only bought the bit, I think, or the other way around. She's like, I expected them both. And I was like, what do you mean? Like, it clearly says it right there, you know, like what you're buying. But she was like giving me hella attitude and i'm like mm. well i don't know what to say <laughs> yes these are available on my website so just make sure you click the right option they better be feeding me at the dinner table hell no and then i will get rushed too this man once this husband was like how much how much is it for you to hurry up I was like, rude. I was like, rude. But I was like, he's joking. But he was not. He was not. Can you put that on any drill? For the most part, yes. As long as you don't have... As long as you don't have, like, um... Like, some weird one. If it's, I believe the size is... Three, I don't know, three by 32 or something like that. Yeah, he told me that. I was like, oh my God. Dude, I went through so much shit in the beginning. Y'all don't understand. But I'm not saying any of this. I'm not saying any of this to discourage anyone, okay? This actually helped build me. If it wasn't for all these struggles, girl, I don't know what kind of nail tech I would be right now. I feel like sometimes we need to go through a lot of shit to learn our value or to just learn different things, you know? Como dicen, the, the path to the prize is sometimes greater than the prize itself, you know? You're so sweet. Thanks for answering all my questions. No problem. Any tips for someone starting an acrylic line? Start saving your coin, girl, because it gets expensive. And also make sure to um, double and triple check that the name that you're going to be using on your Packaging is not already taken by somebody else because the last thing you want to do is invest this kind of money on products and that you cannot sell, you know. And also sample everything before you buy. Sample it all. Don't just sell whatever because you want to be part of a, a club or something like it's not even like that. Doing that. All right. I'm over here closing one eye because I'm afraid it's going to go in there. For the 45 acrylic line, what is the glitter option? Does that mean it'll be 45 glitters? Yes. So you get either 45 acrylics that are solid, which is the solid acrylics, or you get 45 glitter acrylics. Alrighty, so now I'm going to use this one. What, what are you guys talking about? What? It's literally hilarious, but mind-blowing that nobody listened. What are you talking about? I want to know. I want to know. 
tell me the the cheese may. All right, let me file the top of the nails. I was like the fact that she has to repeat this. Oh, are you talking about your your giveaway on your live? I mean your in YouTube. All are on the nails marble. Are all of the nails marble? On my nails, yes. Oh, I was like, I'm missing out over here. That's how you know people don't fully listen. They're being marquitas. No one reads. That's what that's what we're talking about. Yeah, that's why sometimes I don't even want to do giveaways because people don't even read the whole thing or listen. Like I be on my little tutorials. I'll be like, so I'm using X Y Z color with this brush, and then they'll still ask like, what brush is that? Like, girl, I just said it. What do you mean? Get in the cheese, Mizule. I do want to. If only we had like a speaker. Yeah, no one reads. Uh, I'll list everything I use and they ask. Uh-huh. Like, might as well don't list because they're going to ask anyway. Uh, now... In 2022, people are so kind that we actually write what we're using. Because back in the day, oh, hell no. You could never get an answer from nobody. Like, you'd ask them, oh, what color is that? And they'll leave you on red forever. I'm doing a zebra and, like, Hello Kitty vibes inspired set. They're so ticked that still do that. Really? It's like, honey, why are you not sharing the color? I want to know. And my client wants to know too. You know, like sometimes they like a certain color and they're like, I want that exact color. And they don't share. You need to do a nail giveaway, Zule. I am actually, I think I'm going to do something next week, a giveaway with a hand. I was waiting for August to start and it already started. So I had to call it. I'm going to be doing a giveaway next week. And I only say next week because this week is already almost halfway done and... I'm going to be giving away a fake hand, the other Toxica, the sister, and also a planner that I bought. I I actually bought two, one for me, one for one of you lucky hoes, because y'all really need to, if you don't already use planners, you need to incorporate them in your work, especially if you guys run a business. Trust me, it will come through. Girl, I'm trying to get my YouTube up, but being consistent is so hard. Judith, girl, tell me about it. It's very discouraging, but you know what? Just keep going. Post at least every three days. Especially until you get monetized, because I feel like it's even more discouraging when you don't get paid. Not that you do it for the money, but... YouTube money is not all that great like people think. It, it does require a lot of work, but at least you can potentially do it a job, you know? Like if it wasn't for my little YouTube channel, my little extra income, a bitch would have to go to work more often to the salon. And girl, that little money helps me pay for my gas when I travel out there, you know? So it can help alleviate some some 
like financial stress you know but definitely in the beginning when no coin is being made not even five cookies it is even more depressing because you're like you have to do all this work for free right but it's the same as doing clients for free when you're starting anything you do is like you're an intern we are interns in the beginning in a lot of jobs too. Like when, I don't know if you guys were ever like volunteers or interns as when you were younger at a job. I guess we didn't really complain as much because we knew we had to do it. So I feel like we need to remember that we're interns whenever we start a job, a new business. We're interns, okay? Think about it like that. And I guess it won't feel that bad. Like, it's something you have to do. You have to work for free in the beginning. And then later on, the money will follow, you know? Even if it's 20, 20 cookies. Hey, those $20 is something, you know? Better than nothing. And then you can use it to your benefit too. Like when you start a YouTube channel, that is a business. If you buy yourself a camera for your business, you can put that as an expense, an equipment. If you buy nail materials for your channel, that is an expense. So talk to your, um, talk to your tax preparer because you're going to spend the money anyway. So might as well um benefit from it you know i don't really know the full details as far as what you can and cannot get um away with as writing off on youtube since my channel is fairly new but i'm i'm learning honey it took my parents five years before they started making money of a profit to really pay bills yep normally it it takes at least a year or two to see your to be able to pay yourself pretty much because that's why a lot of businesses do not succeed a lot of businesses don't succeed because you spend all your money you're making and not investing it back in your business like you need to remember like girl how are you gonna buy yourself a better a better electric file if you're spending all your money but sometimes obviously you have to because ex there's expensive and bills to be paid but y'all already know what i'm talking about that starbucks that talk about that mcdonald's or the whatever very i work every second my eyes are open when i'm not watching too late literally same that's why y'all don't see us on the gram because the bitch is working so if y'all ever message me on Instagram and I take ages to respond or text, bitch, I'm busy. I'm working. I'm working for free right now. <laughs> I'm working, honey. So, yeah. That's a little knowledge for y'all right there. And again, you guys can always ask a text, your text preparer for any tax related questions. If you have any, our lives move from IG to TikTok completely. Mm, kind of. I'm considering to just not using my Zule's nail page anymore because it's a little discouraging for me. But I still have not quit on it completely. It makes me sad that my my public or my engagement or interactions or whatever period is not the same as it used to be like i have to work extra hard to push my content which i think i'm just gonna use that energy and building up my other page so how to call it from now on i think my lives for sure are gonna be on tiktok and then I save them and I upload them to my YouTube channel. I don't think I'm going to be doing any lives on Instagram anytime soon because they're just not the business, you know. So just come look for me here from now on for lives and everything else. 
I'm not going to give up. I'm still going to post, but I'm just not going to look at my my engagement or whatever because it's like, what the fuck, you fucking Instagram? Like, it's a really hit and miss with a post. So I'm like, what the hell? So that's why I be posting to all three of my pages, you know? So don't get annoyed of me. <laughs> don't get annoyed of the same post. I'm like, I need to grow my other pages before I let this other one go. I think I'm moving over here. Yes, girl, move. Get it, get it, get it. Like my husband, he be telling me, he's like, I don't know why you, you even care about Instagram. Instagram is like pretty much is dying or whatever. Cause I, he's like my, my motivation over here. Whenever I'm down or whatever, like all depre, or I have, he's really smart. I tell him he's a smart one out of the relationship and he, he'll encourage me like, Oh, like he'll tell me what I want to hear, I guess. But most of it is true. He'll be like, um, like grow your TikTok or like focus on your TikTok. Like don't worry about Instagram. Like don't be sad because of Instagram or whatever. And I'm like, okay. But then I'm like, eh, my Instagram is sad. And then Hari Kale, I'm like, no, no, no. Let me go to TikTok. Let me go to TikTok. And then TikTok is cool. We we cool. We hanging out. We're relaxing together. And then I go to Instagram and I'm gonna get sad again. So I try not to go on Instagram no more. But yeah, it's like a whole roller coaster, guys. Don't think everything is all fucking peaches and cream. Because it ain't. I be like all, th I be liking all three. Okay, cherry girl, thank you. Instagram is great for cute animal videos. Well, maybe I should start posting Lenny, huh? Behind all my nelfies. Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat are all dying. I definitely agree with the Snapchat. I have not used my Snapchat in a few years. I used to be all up on that Snapchat. But mm -mm. ever since they did that one update, they had me fucked up. Like, nope, I like the old way. What happened? And I think I just never went back to that. Alrighty. Yeah, my client does need a little lotion. Is the other way around for me. That's why I don't post here. I don't know when the last time I posted here. Girl, I know I was like, and how am I not following Portia? I I don't even know how I remembered. I was like, let me go show Portia some love. And then I'm like, the fuck? I'm not following her? What? How could I not? And so I started following you and I'm like, does she even use her? Her TikTok or she just come here to watch my lives. But I was like that in the beginning too. But just keep doing what works for you, girl. Or do both because I'm not trying to like be negative. But just in case, you know, for backup. Um, Just in case Instagram is dying. You could already have your TikTok growing. All right, let me go... No, I'm not going to wash her hands. Fuck that. Let me get my little wipes. Clean this bitch up a little bit. Push her back in. I'm not leaving anywhere because then I'm going to lose my little viewers that I have. They're going to be like, oh, nothing's going on here. Let's leave. All right, so let me clean her. I don't get on here. I download TikTok busy late only. Well, Portia, girlfriend, you still need to post. Post everything. Post everything that you post on Instagram here and your page is going to grow. Trust me. That's what I started doing. Not just Portia. Everybody. So I used to stress myself out because of content. Like, what am I going to make? Well, I still do. I still stress myself out because of that. But you know what? Gary V. I I don't know if you guys follow him. He was the one. He was the one who said... Um, pretty much to post everything, like whatever I post on Instagram, I'm gonna post it on all my social medias. Why not? Like, why wouldn't you, you know? I don't know why the fuck I wouldn't think of that, but I wouldn't. So that's what I do now. 
And that's how I've been able to grow my TikTok because y'all seen early this year, I only had like, I don't know how many fucking friends. And now I have more. I'm like, woo. Even though not everybody be seeing my stuff, but fuck it. Good enough. As long as y'all my friends, we cool. Mm hmm. And thanks to him, I do not stop saying bad words because. If he approves of the bad words, shit. Everybody else can suck a nut. <sighs> All right, so I'm going to start with my zebra lines. And I'm going to be using my black painting gel. Along with... I'm going to pop out my... Handy Zandy... Um, Oh, shit, this is wrong color. Wrong color, honey, wrong color. My handy dandy notebook. Eh, just kidding. Ow. Hold on, let me find my palette. I actually have three palettes now. All right, I'm going to use my little heart palette. Maybe I should zoom you out a little. So I'm going to mix my black gel polish. Zule, do you also post onto Facebook? I don't really, but recently my Instagram asked me if I wanted to start posting on, on my Facebook. Like anything that I post to my Instagram will post to my Facebook. And I was like, eh, why not? So now it posts there too. All right, I'm going to put a little bit of the clear here just to open up my brush because I'm going to be using my liner 11. That's what it looks like. It's new. So let me wiggle it in the clear top coat so the little hairs could get untangled. What's the item most bought from your products? My top items from my store definitely have to be the bling adhesive is number one. Um, the monomer is like the third item because I think the second one is the activator. Um, hold on. Let me stop guessing and just take a look. The numbers don't lie. It will tell me here the, like the top bought items. I'll tell you right now, girl. Right now. What the fuck? Why is my internet not working? Check your network, bitch. Oh, okay. Never mind. So, I lied. My number one product is the bling adhesive. The number two product is the bling adhesive and the squeeze bottle. And then my brushes is number three. Number four is cluster gel, foil gel, monomer, and then the Mia Secret, and then the Ultimate Prep, then the cotton tips, and then glow acrylic, cover acrylics, Zule top coat, and then a bunch of nail tips follow. I've never really paid attention, so I was kind of curious myself. All right, so I'm going to use a little bit of the painting gel. Only because this one is like hella bit more pigmented. But it is thicker, so I'm just going to mix it a little bit with the regular black gel. Just so that it's um it thins out. The black gel polish, the normal number 20, is pigmented as well, but I want it to be really dark. So that's why I'm using both. That way we can meet in the middle and be not too thin, not too thick of a color. What kind of brush do you recommend? A Kalinsky brush, definitely. Kalinsky. 
All right, so I'm going to do the zebra first. Oh, shit, what did I do? Let me zoom in. What the fuck is this? All right, I'm going to do my zebra. I have not done zebra in a long time, so let's see how this goes. So I'm just going to start off up here, just random. And for me, zebra is always kind of like squiggly. I'm going to try to get my nail out of the way because my nails are long. Like literally, I always squiggle zebra. Um, I feel like I can't even keep an keep up with my three IGs and YouTube girl. Me neither. I've been going crazy. That's why I don't respond to people on the on Instagram. As much, so it's not that I'm ignoring any of y'all, it's just that it's too much. Like, I have to respond to all of y'all hoes, plus my emails, plus my phone, and then look at my comments. I'd rather just look at my comments than do all of the rest, but. You have to do it all. Um, what the page say? I want to redo my nails. <laughs> yes, girl. Uh, we'll figure it out and let us know what. Yeah, that's a lot, Portia. I feel like I. Oh wait, wait, wait. What did Port? What did um page say? It feels good to know as a fellow business owner that I'm not alone going crazy with social media. No, you're not the only one. I just made a fourth page for my graphic YouTube branding. It'll be starting soon, plus YouTube. Ooh, yes, Portia. Get it, girl. Giddy, giddy. That is definitely your calling. You are hella creative. What would you... What would you do press on nails? And if requested, um, I don't think I would, but my friend here, Portia, does press-ons. So, if you want to get press-ons did, you can um, check her out. I'm not even going to lie. I don't know how to make press-ons like that. I said, don't lie. You be ignoring us. And I said, just kidding. Oh, when I don't, I don't respond on Instagram. No, I don't ignore anyone. I'm lying. The only things or whatever I ignore on Instagram are like Karen's. Like anybody saying something dumb that I do not want to fight with, I will ignore. It's like, I, if I'm not trying to get mad, so I'm going to ignore you today or whatever. And then I won't respond. <laughs> but I'm a workaholic, so don't mind. Mm -hmm. I think that's why we attract each other, Portia, because we both workaholics, girl. New here. And you got me laughing. Hey, girl. What is this design called? This one is a zebra print. What's supposed to be zebra print? I'm not sure if it's looking zebra or not, but I mean, it looks zebra to me. I'm just making a bunch of fucking lines. No, you said I don't be ignoring y'all. I said, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Karen, seek attention. You do good at ignoring them. Mm-hmm. It was like, not today, Felicia. Not today. You ain't killing anyone's vibe. Ooh, these nails are coming out so cute. Zule is definitely a workaholic. Mm -hmm. I sure am, but I, I should not be proud of it completely. My dad is a workaholic, and that low-key did fuck us up as kids. So 
So I'm trying to not repeat it, but it's hard. It's hard. So y'all see that dark, dark, dark color, honey? Ooh, I'm just going to stretch this one out a little bit. Just like that. And then I'm going to do it on the pinky as well. Um, you're good at ignoring the haters. I don't know how you do it. I'd be cursing and being ghetto girl. I I do that too. Y'all just don't give me a chance. Earlier, that one person who was talking shit about my prices being too high or something like that. Or me taking advantage. I don't know what the hell they said. I didn't get to read it completely. I was ready to fight a bitch. Do you have haters? Girl, let me tell you. I've been having haters since I was in 7th grade. For no reason. Did I tell you guys that when I was in 7th grade, these stupid bitches, there was like 8 of them that wanted to fuck me up? For no reason, I was going to get fucked up in 8th grade. I'm lying. 8th grade. Have you ever been in a fight, Zule? Yes, I have been on in two fights. Can we see your nails? Yes. Give me one second. Let me finish these. I've been in two fights. One of them was actually, I guess we could say two and a half. Wasn't it over a dude? No. Oh, yes, yes, yes. yes. Well... I think it was because of him, but I don't know why the fuck they would. They didn't like me, period. So they were just using any excuse to want to fuck me up. So my first, first official fight was in seventh grade. And my second official fight, like literally beating ourselves up was in ninth grade. I believe I won the ninth grade one. The other one, I think so too. But she she claimed she beat me up. But all she did was pull my hair. All right, let me cure this real quickly. Was your sister a fighter too? No, not at all. I actually was the crazy one when I was in middle school. Like, I was the one who who would get in trouble and all that. And she wasn't. Now she's a crazy one. It's like we flip roles. Like, now I'll consider about getting in a fight with somebody because I don't want to go to jail. Like, I have to work tomorrow. <laughs> I was a fighter and then I calmed down. Yeah, it's like you get tired of fighting. I will get beat up for sure. Hell no. The good thing that helped me was that I have, like, heavy hands. So, I feel like ever since I punched this guy in front of a lot of people in school, people stopped really messing with me, I feel. Or maybe because I just had an angry face. I don't know. So, back in the day, nobody really wanted to fight me no more. I was like, okay, even better shit. Even better, because I ain't trying to get in trouble with my mom. She's going to fuck me up. She's going to fuck me up. I was so scared of my mom. I was like, she's going to fuck me up. Okay, guys. Oh, shit. Let me finish curing this. I didn't finish curing it, because I got up to unplug my phone. I have my Mona face, too, but you're a sweetheart. Yeah, I learned that you just have to smile. I used to have an ugly resting bitch face for a while. So I was like, girl, why are you pretending to be this person? You're really not. Like, you're really nice. So then, how do you call it? Um, I started smiling more. You be taking out dudes. I can't even count how many fights I was in. Uh-uh, I... 
RBF. What does that mean, Portia? Yeah, shit. This guy was talking shit about me. I fucking punched him in front of everybody. I was like, fuck this bitch. Oh, resting bitch face. <laughs> I was like, what is RBF? I have bad RBF. I can't control it. I'm literally the nicest person ever. Yes. My sister has a resting bitch face too, but that one is mean. I feel like like a guy than a girl, you're mean. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was like, bitch thinks I ain't gonna fucking punch his ass. He got me fucked up. I fucking went up to him, punched him across the face and kept on walking. Like motherfucker. Talk to me one more time with that fucking attitude and your ass is gonna, your whole head gonna spin. I'm not gonna say I'm nice, but I'm not mean. I am very nice. I'm a very nice person, but do not get me mad because I will turn into the Hulk. I will turn into the Hulk and you don't want that. I don't even want that shit. Like, my blood boils so much. It's like, mm-mm, delay. <laughs> Resting bitch. So, we need to all start smiling if you don't already. I'm just going to put top coat over it because I'm going to put bling and then I have to eventually top coat it. So, I'm just going to do it now. Zule, we're the same, the sweetest ever, but you can hold your own. Uh-huh. Yeah, like sometimes people think on social media like, oh, yeah, Zule so nice. Like, I'm going to give her attitude or I'm going to do this, this, and that to her or whatever. And like, uh-uh, Felicia. Bye. Like, no. But you know what? All of this I learned over all my little struggles that I went through when I was younger. Because I was not always like that. I was always a little wild getting into trouble because I I was trying to fit in. It's not really that I wanted to be like that. I was trying to fit in. I was trying to be cool, part of the cool club or whatever. But that wasn't really me. That was not me. I've got too old to fight. Fuck that. I don't want to fight nobody. My nails are too beautiful. I'm nice, but do not put up with shit. Mm -hmm. Okay, coffee break. Who's ready for some 3D action? Who's ready for some flowers? Who's ready for some flowers? My last fight was at 25. My last fight was when I was, well, I guess I didn't really fight, but when I got, I was pregnant with Patrick. This bitch tried to fight me, but that's when my sister impressed me and backed me up that I didn't even have to get in a fight. All right, so I'm going to be doing the white, number one, and I'm going to put a little bit of, wait, oh, where's the color? Right here. The color I mix from lavender and 112. I was stabbed eight times, so I don't fight no more. People are different in 2022. What the fuck? Girl, you were stabbed? I hope not literally stabbed. Hell no. Nah. I, mm -mm. People crazy. Were you stabbed recently or when? Uh-uh, come salió, como salió Patrick, he's so sweet, uh-huh. Salió todo eh, asustado, el pobre. All right, so I'm going to do a few little flowers with my number four Kalinsky brush. Yes, my ex-boyfriend. What? Oh, hell no, he an ex for a reason. Mm-mm, he, no, girl, we're glad you survived this because... That is cray cray. Alrighty, we're gonna do a 3D flower on the pinky. 
damn could use my arm for a whole year oh my god girlfriend that sounds so fucking horrible did you fucking stab him back at least Oh, I forgot to get clear. I mean, new monoma. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. Is that we doing? We gonna go shank him right now with these nails. So I'm gonna do a rose only because that's already what where I'm headed. Rosie, Rosie. All right, I think we need to change our conversation. It's getting a little sad. Sorry, Paige. How about we say funny jokes? Anyway, um, let's make ourselves laugh. <laughs> um. Anybody in here try the Kamala Floor yet? How many of y'all try the Kamala Floor? Hey, Zule. Since we're talking about flowers here, why not? Zule, you don't have any tattoos? No, I did. I got it from you. It was worth every penny. Mm -hmm. um, no, I do not have tattoos. I do not think I'll ever get a tattoo. I like to see them, but I am a little bitch. I will... Mm -mm. I don't do well with needles. I fell picking up my Starbucks, but I didn't drop it, though. Oh my god, girl, right now? It's like you you fail but not the drink. Mm -mm, fuck that. <laughs> That's funny. Sorry, I'm laughing, but that was kind of funny. Wild stories. Who has a wild story? That's skills. Mm -hmm. That's called you a mom, girl, because shit, you have like all these reflexes and shit. Like, uh-uh, I'd rather lose a tooth before I lose my coffee and shit. <laughs> I have many, but not for here. Oh man. What time is it there, Zule? Right here, it's 8.33. My knee was scraped so bad. Ooh. Um, yes, I went ahead and I already put top coat on the zebra print and this nail. That way I don't have to top coat it later. Although the black is, I mixed it with no wipe painting gel. So it wasn't tacky, but because I don't want to do it later, I just did it now. I think my man would be down as fuck to try it. Tell him, pa que te la compre. You guys use it to get it, honey. I wanted to cry but laugh at the same time. I for sure know some someone saw me fall. Did it feel like slow motion? Slow motion for me. Slow motion. Zule, we need a meet and greet ASAP. That's what I was... We were just talking about that earlier. We need to... Find a location like the people watchers. Que numero es tu 3D brush? Es la numero cuatro. Estoy usando la numero four. Let's go the casino. Ooh, don't tempt me, girl. Don't tempt me. I do want to go to the casino. No, esta no es una mano real. Es de mentiras. Oh, 
your boys saw you fall and what did they tell you mom you fell but you didn't drop the coffee what do you like about el casino well i don't do anything risky in my life besides drive to work <laughs> So, I like the adrenaline rush where I can potentially lose my money. You know, that's what I like. Where either I can win or lose it, you know? So, I think that's why I like it. Because other than that, I don't have anything fun in my life going on. All I do is work. Work work and work yay you're live yes ma'am so that's why i like to go to casino occasionally not too much because a girl ain't trying to get addicted either even though i was addicted for like a little bit for like a month a meet and greet at the park van a decir estas pinches locas malditas que hacen aquí Las voy a, las vamos a violar a todas estas pendejas. What are some of your wild stories? Mm, let's see. What kind of story have I not told you guys? Um, let's see. I don't have a lot of wild client stories. Luckily, my clients have not been wild like that. Or at least I can remember them, but hmm. Let's see. Ask me questions and then I'll remember a, a damn story because I can't just think out of the blue. From the beginning? What? What was the what? Oh my god, look what I did por andar viendo la screen. <laughs> What's the wildest thing I did as a teen? Um I was not too wild because my mom always fucking had us on check. But I used to go tagging. We used to ditch and go tagging. We used to ride the bus all the way to the beach with our spray cans. <laughs> Become a teen mom for real. Um, yeah, I used to ask strangers for money. Uh, should I add a flower to this one? Fuck it. I'm already, I'm already putting it here. Yeah, I used to ask strangers for money. Like, oh, can I have money for the best or whatever? Like, I never went to parties. I never did shit like that. My mom would never fucking let me do shit like that. So, I didn't even try. So, the wild side of me, I guess, was the tagging part. And I would tag the school and shit. Un peso para las papitas. Sí, una vez un pinche pendejo me dice, I'll give you 20 bucks if you suck my dick. I was like, the fuck, bitch? Get the fuck out of here. I was like, uh-uh. What were you tagging? I used to be in a crew. I used to be in a stupid crew before. Um, That's why I was saying that, that I actually got in a crew. I got in a fight to get in a crew. When I was in high school, like, what the fuck was wrong with me? I was stupid as fuck. I left the house at 13. My mom is a narcissist, but hey, I turned out pretty okay if I say so myself. Okay, girl, good for you. Zule, you were a shuffler. Girl, I could not dance. I, mm -mm, I could not shuffle for shit. I could paint a wall. Ugly, but I could paint it. <laughs> Oh yes, I was supposed to show my 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 nails. But again, we go back to that I only did it for attention to be cool, to fit in, which was retarded. I should have never wanted to fit in or be cool or nothing like that. Because there's no such thing. Like nothing 
nothing good comes out of that. It's like you don't even have friends. Like, low-key, I regret doing shit like that, but I would have not known better because I wish I would have high school, middle school friends. All the people I hung out with were fake as shit. They were all fake as fuck. Nah, see, I need you to do my nails. Okay, girl. I never wanted to join a crew or a gang. I thought it was dumb. I wish I would have thought like that, girl. But my dumb ass did it. No, I did not get jumped in. We got in a fight. Me and one of the main heads. I was so scared. I was like, bitch, I'm going to get fucked up. Because I had only got in a fight once. And then um, the girl was fighting. My, The girl was fighting was one of the main heads. And she was scary looking. So I was like, hella 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 intimidated as fuck but i don't want to rank it because i don't want to be a little bitch it was called a o q it was it meant like it's it um it was for assassinating other queens <laughs> like bitch we'll kill you honey and eh, just kidding i don't want to say that because i'm gonna get back in the day not no more <laughs> my um my husband be like you watching that nail lady again excuse me husband is nail girl or it also meant like above other queens or whatever if you don't want it to be that scary Millen millennial mama brie was your husband's name my cousin ginger's from aoq that fucking Crew still thing. This has been like ten almost ten years ago. My husband said the name the same just now. Brian. Oh. Brian. Soy señorita. Okay. Loki, I was acting though as fuck, but I never fight girls came to me like you have my back. I was like, yes. Any wait, my mija me dijo que si no me canso de ver tus videos y likes. Dile, Sandra, dile que no. ¿Cómo que te vas a cansar? Si es puro chiste y relajamiento aquí, que jajaja y jijiji, puro chisme. Nadie se canta, cansa de eso. Any tips on your nail, glue girly? I recently received your package. Um, I'm going to be applying bling shortly, so just stay tuned for that part and you guys you can see how I use it. It's not, not too hard. You just literally apply it where you want your bling. Put the bling and boom. Yeah, so. I don't even do nails, but be wanting to try. Girl, try it. It don't hurt nobody. I'm, I think I'm just going to put one flower on this one. I'm ready for that. Bling, 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 bling. I love it here. Oh, why do I keep doing that? <laughs> I'm I mean to to put it in the dampen dish. Um, Zule, what size brush do you recommend for the petals to be somewhat small? Number two. For smaller petals or number two? Actually, I'm gonna put a little a little leaf. The monkey pox got you scared. How to call it? Um, I know I've been seeing them all over. Low key, I was looking at Patrick's cheek the other day because he had like a little, a little something, and I was like, Patrick, what is that? What is that, boo boo? If you want your petals to be really small, I recommend number two. If you want them to be medium, then number four, medium to large. If you want them to be large, then a number six. And then it depends too on the weather. Because when it's hot, you just need to upgrade your brush a little bit more, be like a larger size, because everything dries so much faster. Alrighty, so those are my little pegoste flowers. Let's move on to the sugar nail. 
Um, let's see. Is the zebra done with gel or stickers? Oh, my girl, I painted it myself with gel, honey. I'll tell you, let me close my wine. I've been having my AC on 60. Girl, that's so cold. Um, I normally have it at 68 because I don't want it to be too cold either. Where my product does not dry fast. Zule with the knowledge. Mm -hmm. You're welcome, bitches. I be sharing my eight years of knowledge experience with y'all for free, okay? All I require is you to go give me some love on my Instagram, my TikTok. You know, just a little like here and there. That's all. That's all. All right, hold on. Let me get me my purple, purple gel. You know, it's pretty low, low price. You get a lot of cheese in there, a lot of knowledge, and that's all you got to do. Um, let's see, what color should I do? Is this purple? I can't tell if this is purple or, oh yeah, it is. It is, it is, it is. All right, so I'm going to try to mix this gel, which is number 43 and number 147. To try to get it to the color of the pinky. Ooh, thank you for the heat wave, Martha. Martita, mi amiga. All right, hold on, guys. Let me get me my... My gel brush again. I mean, my liner brush. Where's my 25 mm liner? 15. Fuck it. You guys think I could do with my 15 mm? Ooh, here you are, baby girl. I'm a baby, baby girl. It's giving me 2004 vibes. Mm -hmm. I feel old lately, so we doing throwbacks. It's like, it's going to become a thing again. So let me clean my brochita right here really fast. When am I going to do another 3D class? I don't know, girl. With all these things going on, I don't think I, I want to throw a class right now. I feel like nobody's going to show up. With these monkey pox, with these fucking precios a la verga. Everything going up. You talking about old. <laughs> All right, let me mix this real quick. Let's see what color we make. Ooh, yes. I think I made the color. The color. So, y'all, if you guys ever need a color that you don't have, just mix it. Try to mix. Try it. Um. Yes, I do give individual, individual classes. What are you cleaning it with? I'm just putting top coat, like regular top coat. Regular clear top coat. Some people use... Um, some people use, um, base gel. I use just top coat. You can use whatever you like. Whatever you like me do for you. Mix, mix, mix. Okay, let's see. I think it needs to be a little bit darker. <clears throat> I use acetone. Yeah, I use acetone sometimes too. But I'm too lazy to look for a dampened dish. <sighs> I actually use acetone to clean my brush. And then I'll use the gel to the clear gel to like separate the bristles when they're kind of like stuck together. 
fuck it i think this color will be good enough that's enough it's gonna be, have glitter anyway it don't matter oh shit oh shit it's rolling away all right let me roll my brush in there all right now let's get to this thumb so it's gonna be a french should I make it a regular French or a V French? A regular French, huh? Which monomer do you use and does it have a strong odor? I use both of my monomers. Um, to me, they're not strong. But to other people, I guess it depends on your nose. Some people think it's strong, some people don't. So I'm going to do kind of deep. So I can have space for some bling bling. I wish I had the patience to be a nail tech. Girl, you can learn to be patient. Trust me. We learn to be patient. I feel like patience is a skill that you learn. I am in California. All right, let's let's paint it to see if I did good. Because I'm not very patient myself. But you learn to be patient. Ooh, hoo, hoo, la la, honey. So I'm just filling in the rest of the tip. And then I'm going to sprinkle some flitter. Let me turn it around my hand to make sure that it's semi straight. No, it ain't. It ain't, girl. My Frenchies are getting better, huh? Practice, guys. Thank you, Portia. Thank you. I've been trying. I've been practicing. Well, y'all seen all the times I be trying to do a French and shit like Zule, you're not good at them, but I'm gonna get better, okay? Oh, honey. Shit, I am proof that if you try, you can do something, cause girl, let me tell you, I cannot draw for shit. Okay, now let me get my sugar. I'm gonna use purple sugar since we're using purple. You did good on Mimi. Oh, thank you, girl. Ya me voy a creer. I'm going to get my cute... Ooh, hoo, 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 honey, it almost fell off the table. I'm going to get my little cuticle pusher. Now I'm just going to sprinkle this little bitch on the gel while it's still wet. And this is going to cure in the lamp right now. So this is the sugar effect. And no, you do not top coat it. I mean, you can if you want to. But then is no longer sugar effect but the good thing about these sugar glitters check it out these sugar glitters have like a a multi-toned or multi-tone like they have like purple green and like a shift to them so even if you do put top coat over them they will still shine really nice no, Zule, secure the glitter. I would have died for you. <laughs> Did you guys see that shit? Fucking almost falling off the edge. Look at Ooh. I don't remember who said to do sugar the other day, but here it is, honey. For you. Do you sell those glitters? Yes, ma'am. We have... um, They're under the sugar glitters. I don't remember how many colors we have. We have blue like three different kinds of oranges purple pink two two shades of pink a clear one brown 
Ooh, thank you for the fingers, Sin. Mmm, my coffee's so good. Let's see how long have we been here for two hours already. One hour, 59 minutes, y'all. All right, Toxica, please stick in your thumb by itself now. Make sure that dry, that... Um, that fucking gel dries so good. Marta, you going to work? What are you working again, girl? Oh my goodness. Mi sobra me queda como rayo, rayones de niña de kinder. Oh. <laughs> girl, a mi también. A mi también. So check it out. Wow. This makes me want a bunch of Frenchies with glitter now. Oh my gosh. So, ya que está todo seco, let me clean my brush. Actually, I have a dampened dish right here. Surprisingly. I have a client who bring me her own tips, some their own crystals. I don't mind. Yeah, I don't mind either as long as they completely understand that they are not getting a discount because they brought their own supplies. Yeah, we're not done yet. Where it's time for the bling. Yeah, I used to have a client who was super OCD. Like if she saw something online, for example, if she saw this set, she would get everything for this set, color and all. Bring it to me and ask me because she wanted the exact same colors. But she never expected me or at least she never says shit where she's like, aren't you going to give me a discount or anything? Because she would take her products back with her. So I think there's no problem with that. But unless they want like a discount because they're bringing stuff. Nah, -uh, Felicia. Nah, nah, honey. Como va esa cosita? Nah, -uh, honey. It's not like that. All right, let me put my gel, I mean my lamp down here. All right, guys, I'm so excited. It's time for my favorite part. All right, so y'all gonna help me pick a bow. I only had people bring me their own supplies when I was a beginner. And um, that girl that I'm telling you, like not too long ago, but one of the girls that had me do her nails with her own supplies was years ago. And she did want me to do them for a discount. And I did. I did because I didn't know any better. But I'm telling you now, don't do it. They could do their own nails if they want a discount. The fuck? So I'm just going to open up my crystals because I don't know exactly which one I'm going to do. I mean, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do, to be honest. I'm just going to take it out. I'm going to whip it out. Oh, you're already choosing for me, my bow? Use both or pearl one. Huh, whichever one, if I use a pearl one on this bitch right now, I'm going to use a bling one on myself. And let me take out the little ones just in case. <clears throat> oh shit, these are not the same color? Mm. I thought they were the same, the same color. Alright, so let me pop out my blings too. I brought... I'm, I don't think I'm going to use any good goods today because last time I was getting yelled at. So I want to say this color, these crystals are, I call them Moonlight. They're available in the little box. I'm definitely going to use pearls because, girl, we need that. Yes, use pearls on a toxic. She don't deserve the bling one. <laughs> like, fuck that bitch. So I'm going to use some pearls. I'm going to use... um. Damn, I don't have no AB ones. So I guess, bitch, you ain't getting no AB. So I guess the pearl bow it is because it's going to match. 
Oh my God, that would look so cute. That would look so cute too. Okay. So Toxica kind of wants something extravagant, bling, go big, go big, go home. But I don't know if she got enough budget, to be honest. So Toxica, how much you have? What's your budget? Uh, ten dollar. The fuck? Okay, bye, bitch. And nobody got no ten dollar budget here. Uh, uh. You owe me already. And just kidding, just kidding. She said one hundred. And that was showing us one hand. <laughs> Sorry, ma'am. You didn't have enough for this nail. Only for four. All right. So I'm gonna be using the Zule bling adhesive. I'm gonna put a little crystal. Hold on. I'm going to put a little crystal in the center of the flower. Just because we need a little sparkle. Sparkle. And the reason why I chose these crystals is because they have like a little purple undertone. So I feel like it fits perfect with the color palette. I do not sell this hand. It is from Glamourliz.com. from glamourless.com actually i'm gonna need some shapes so let me pop out my box that i have right here hopefully i have some squares shit over here i swear i need a bigger desk i always say that so i am not using any good good today oh shit oh shit let me just i definitely feel like hello kitty deserves um heart somewhere in there um, maybe one of these. I'm just going to bring out some bling so I could close my box because it doesn't fit in my, in my room. I mean, in my table. Oh, this one too. Boom, boom, boom. All these weird shapes that I never use, I guess I'm going to use today. Take it throwback. All right, I think that should be enough for now. Maybe this one too. All right, what are you saying? What do you do with the nails when you're done? Um, I just put them in my cajon. I don't really do much to them. So I'm going to do her. Should I do her cluster or should I say the cluster for myself? I'm definitely going to put her a big bling because she requested that. But I don't know if I should put the bow in this finger. Yeah, I am. I am. I am. I am. I'm just going to put it here. A purple cluster. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. We already. Pa que pregunto? We already know. All right, I'm gonna use cluster gels like I already had it in mind. This is gonna be in honor of Zule. Um, let's see. Where's my gel brush? So the cluster gel is obviously for clusters. And if you don't know what's a cluster, it's pretty much pointed back crystals um, bunched together. So I'm going to use this purple one. 
because it's not that big. And then I'm going to use this other one because it's not that big either. And just kidding. Oh, shit. I need help. Somebody flash care me. I forgot to take on my lamp. Since they're pretty heavy, they're going to start moving. But okay, let me see if I could do this. One, two, three. Open your shit. Find your fucking gun. And shoot. Come on, bitch. Come on. Shoot. The light. Mm -hmm. You guys thought I was going to shoot something else or what? And like Zule is never prepared, honey. Never. So whenever you guys use cluster gel, make sure. Um, well, not just cluster gel, but just gel in general. Make sure it dries good. Like good, good. Because if it does not, then it's not going to stay. So let me put this bitch in the lamp real quick so her blink can stay in there and cook fully. I was like, whack. <laughs> Had a hard time getting it, getting the drawer, huh? Yes. I was like, let me open it. Let me open it carefully without moving the other hand. All right. Meanwhile, that dries. Let me start thinking of what other bling bling I'm going to put. I'm impatient. I need that super cure, flesh cure light. Girl, me too. This little pink one is actually really good too. To flesh cure. I'm not sure actually if that other one cures the um, cluster gel fully in 10 seconds. Because it's really thick. You know, I know for sure it does gel polish. But I've never tried it with the gel. The cluster gel. Alright, so I'm going to get some more cluster gel. And I'm going to put some more down here. So just because the, the cluster gel and the bling adhesive are good, good, like they're magical, does not mean you don't have to add extra. Because you could never be too careful. Never. So I feel like maybe I'm going to put Hello Kitty right there. She would look so cute. Let's see. What they say? Who are you guys talking to? Is this your first time here? Who, who, who? Where is she at? What's the point of those? It just ruined the whole look. They were so pretty. Um, we just upgrading the look. No, you know what? Hello Kitty's going to stay down here somewhere. I'm just going to leave it right there. Smack in the middle. Well, if you want to recreate this, you can definitely add or remove whatever you want. But my hose up in here, my regular, my regular peoples, they already know that we always going to be extra, extra with the bling and bling and bling. Hold on, guys. I'm looking for my other chaton. I need like a smaller one for the bottom. Let me look at my box. My box of bling. Ooh, I have a little lavender one here. Better come on and grab it. Yeah, this is not everybody's um cup of tea, and it's totally fine, but 
We love the craziness. So I'm going to put some little round ones on here. Just to fill in the gap. Yeah, my model here, she loves crazy shit. So I'm going to put this back in the lamp for a few seconds. Hello Kitty is stunning. Oh, it's running away. <laughs> she sure was, but we put her back in her place. <laughs> yeah, not everybody likes bling. But if I leave shit basic, my followers give me no likes. I cannot do a simple set because... You guys will not approve, so we have to bedazzle it. I don't got a problem with that. All right, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me. Put some more. No señora nails here. <laughs> go big, go home. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to go in here with a little bit of closer gel as well. Because this gap is not, not going to stay there. And I'm going to do another little purple one. Stab that little bitch. Ooh. <clears throat> I'm starting to get stuffy now. The bling plug. Mm -hmm. The bling queen. Oh my God, Zulay, stop it. Don't you have coffee, bitch? I do not sell press-ons, but my friend Portia, she does. Check out her Instagram. Portia nailed it. Or pressed by Portia. Sorry, I forget. There's so many Instagrams, I forget whose is what. And I be combining all of y'all. All of y'all. Her gel is called Cluster Gel. You can do a search. Oh, yeah. The gel that I'm using right now is the Cluster Gel. Oh, man. I forgot about the fucking bow. I guess I'll put the bow on the middle finger. This is going to be extra, extra. Okay, okay. So, I'm going to end up bedazzling the rest of this nail i'm gonna be doing bling 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 and pearls so i'm gonna start off with a pearl because why not why not honey you know what i should have brought some purple crystals the neon ones so i'm gonna put a little heart so cute this is not Shein bling, but if you want to shop in Shein, go ahead, girl. There's nothing wrong with that. Oh, my God, you little bling bling. Stop moving. Stay right there. They are looking cute. Hold on. Let me go get the purple bling only because I feel like it needs the touch. Let me make sure I don't already have it here. Um, let me spray my, my nail really quick before I come back and there's no more bling on the fucking nail. Hold on. Give me, give me a couple seconds to run my ass over there.
I'm back. That was pretty fast, huh? So these are the, oh shit. These are the same style of bling that I have on my nails. They're like jelly, I guess. The spray is to dry the glue faster. So I'm just going to grab a few and throw them in here. It's just to dry the glue faster. Alrighty, honey. Let's get it started. Hold on, did I zoom out? No, huh? Normally, I would wipe the nail, but we're working on a fake hand, so her bling ain't gonna go nowhere. So I'm just gonna start adding pearls and bling, pearls and bling. I'm gonna add some of the moonlight ones too. Just make sure to spray until you're done. Don't do what I did, I'm a naughty girl. My bling will start drying so fast right now. Stupid bling bling, get over here. Stay right there, right there, right there. The pearls are cute, right? It's like Hello Kitty who? And then all these little bling blings are just going to make it look extra cute. So back in the day, I used to do nails like this. I used to call them, um, I used to call them junk nails because they had a bunch of junk. So I would put charms, pearls, bling, everything I could find, chain, like, I ordered some chain, too, which it should be arriving. I don't know when. Um, But if I had it, hopefully it arrives by my nails. But if I had it here, I would run it down the middle or something to give it a pop of gold. Because Hello Kitty does have a little bit of gold, so we make her match a little bit. But I guess gotta save that for my nails because fuck Toxica, right? Fuck this hoe. We can't make her better than me, the fuck? So what you guys think of these nails so far? Extra, extra, no, no basic bitches here. Well, if you're a basic bitch, then you could just like before the bling. It's fine. They're so cute. I'm not a purple lover, but they are pretty cute. They are pretty darn cute. Let's see. What else should I add here? Probably this little squiggly one. Basic bitch. Where oh man, you know what would it look cute here? A little butterfly. I just saw somebody's name butterfly and it gave me that idea. A little button play. Fucking little diamond, get over here and get your ass over here, bitch. You bitch. I'm not a fan of purple either, but these are cute. I should start forcing myself to do colors I don't care for. Yes, girl. I, not too long ago, started to do that because I felt like I would only do pink all the time. I mean, not that people really minded because people like pink, but I was like, you know what? Let me start trying other colors. And girl, to my surprise, I like it. I like purple now. I'm not sure if it was Disneyland's fault that I like purple because most of their shit is fucking lavender, iridescent or whatever. They don't really have pink. 
It's like white knots, honey. Personal preference, I love everything. I it moved. I love everything but the zebra print. I would do cheetah print though. Yeah, I prefer cheetah print too, but I always I feel like I always do that. So I was like zebra print it is. But you can do a solid color if you're not a fan of the zebra. It would look nice just in full purple too. Like, let's just say you were recreating this and you don't like the zebra print. This one, all lavender, would look really nice as well. You could always add and take away. Oh, you're an auditor for a distribution? Ooh. Sounds pretty fun. Slash stressful. The zebra is pretty. Mm -hmm. If I had to choose between zebra and cheetah, cheetah all the way. But we need to have a little variety. I was really thinking like, what the fuck am I going to do on my life? I have no idea. And I've been doing similar things lately. So I was like, nah, girl, we need to bring a little... A little something, something to the mix, you know? I was debating whether to do like a 90s look that I did on one of my clients a while back. Like something similar, but in pink this time. But then I was like, nah, girl. Pink again. So I was like, hey, let me just do the little Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty. Zing. I love that nail. That one is my favorite. And none of these are the good, good. None of them. Let me just add a few more here to the side. A few more little crystals. Because it's looking a little bald down there on the side. I love the nail, the drink nail. Oh, shit. I just realized I didn't put none on this side either. Oops. Neglected sides. Or just a regular adhesive. I am, I'm using both. I'm not sure what you asked, but right now I'm using the bling adhesive, but earlier I used the cluster gel. The cluster gel. Oh, my finger hurts. I can't wait to retire in a couple of years. Yes, girlfriend. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to add some bling to the pinky. I feel like my little brush is getting stiff because I put activator on it earlier. Well, I didn't put it on the brush, but... I sprayed the nail and then I went in with bling adhesive, which I shouldn't have done, but y'all already know. Zule. Still be doing that. Still be doing that dumb shit after she knows what's gonna happen to her shit. Oh my god. Yeah, some people use a cluster gel for even the flat backs, but I personally like my shit to dry fast. I need it to dry fast. So if you like the, you you need time for your stuff to dry, then I recommend for you to do cluster gel. That one, it was, does not dry until you're ready. Literally, until you put it in the lamp. What is more nails at home? Hmm? What is more nails at home? What do you mean, Martha? What do you mean, ma'am? Like you'd rather be doing nails at home? Hey, 
is so cute. Man, I wish I had gold in these nails. That would totally be looking popping. Oh, okay. When you retire. Yes, honey. You're going to be retired and doing nails. Uh, I'm here so late. Girl, where you been at? Where you been at? I'm just going to put a little bit more bling here. You know, make it extra like it's her birthday and shit. <clears throat> like Toxica about to pay an arm and a leg right now. She says she's going to feed me in bread. Can you believe that? Can you believe this bitch is going to feed me with cheesecake and bread? Like the fuck bucket. When in doubt, add caviar beads. I love them. Oh, I probably should just to spice it up a little bit. But I feel like I already filled up the spaces. <laughs> the mannequin hat don't deserve this, huh? Fucking stupid bitch hand. I'm going to put it up here. Ooh. ¿Con qué pegas las piedras grandes? Las pego con, con el cluster gel. Mira, ahorita lo voy a usar otra vez para mi moño. Um, the caviar beads, you need to use them with the labeling adhesive and they will stay. Trust me. So hold on, se me quedo aquí. Voy a pegar mi moño con el gel. All right, I'm going to put it right here at the top. A ver, ¿dónde quedó el pinche moño maldito? <clears throat> Let's see, should I do the bling one? Or, should I do the bling one or the pearl one? Check it out. Or the pearl. And <clears throat> <clears throat> now you guys want the bling? Mm -hmm. What happened to earlier pearl? All right, we're going to have a battle like yesterday, all right? So, hold on. Let me check what emojis they are. Interact. We're going to interact for, for the bows. All right, ready? You're going to click on the happy face for the bling and the crying face for the pearls. Ready, set, go. The happy face is the bling bow. <clears throat> Why am I feeling stuffy? Click on the face. Bling is winning. Bling is winning. Nee, 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 nee. <laughs> Which bow? Woo! Bling is winning, guys. How many more seconds? Uh, I don't know how many more seconds are left, but... You have to tap the face to vote. So far, the bling one is winning. You have to tap the little face only once. Why are all of y'all crying? Tap the little face on the screen. Come on, guys. Tap the screen. The sad one is crying, but y'all not tapping. Five seconds. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And the bling wins. I knew you guys were going to change your mind. That's why I left it until the end. All righty. We're going to put the bow. I just don't know if I should put it straight or sideways. What do you think? Maybe a little sideways, huh? 
I'll probably put it this way. All right, let me cure. Here. For everybody with OCD, this is going to kill y'all. Like, oh my God. But it's straight. <laughs> Sorry, OCD girls. I don't have OCD, so I'll be fine. I have a feeling I kind of want to like... Since we're already being extra here, I should outline the whole nail with bling. I don't know. It actually doesn't bother me. Portia, you have OCD? Well, I guess there's different kinds, huh? Different kinds of OCDs. So I'm going to do a little action here. A little squiggly, squiggly. You're doing too much. <laughs> I love it. That's a sign. Add more, Zule. Add more. Extra, extra. Read all about it. Do you have little pearls? I would like to add it around the bow. I was thinking if, if I did the pearl, then I'd put the bling. Her mannequin. More is not enough. There are all kinds. There's all different kinds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we need more. More bling. Put more bling. Put more. Definitely need some gold. I'd rather... It's never too much. What do you do with these nails after? Um, I'm nothing. I just keep them in my drawer. Toxica is getting a good treatment. Uh-huh. This bitch is getting a royal treatment here. She ain't even paying squat. She don't even say thanks. I'm going to put the little heart. Actually, I could just pretend like it's supposed to be in the middle. Would you, would you ever do this exact on a client? I actually do have a client that would be too down to do this on her. Like, she loves this shit. Just the other day when I did her nails, she wanted me to do her zebra, but I didn't. Because she had already had zebra. So I was like, girl, you already had that. She's a little dry. Mm-hmm. My little mannequin be dry. All right, so now I'm going to start twisting it this way. I'm going to use a little squiggly. When in doubt, use a squiggle. When in doubt, bling it out. I'm in love with this set. I wish I could afford the bling to do it. Girl, this is not even the good kind of bling. You could definitely afford it. This is, there is, I mean, the quality is still nice where it'll sparkle beautifully, but it's not like you're going to break the bank expensive. You know? Just know that when you use bling or anything that is not like the highest of the highest quality, the look will not stay for very long. You know, like these will look beautiful for a few, maybe top two weeks. But after two weeks, it'll start to kind of, it's going to start to kind of like not be as beautiful anymore. Because low quality products or bling, they start to kind of, you know, wear and tear. Just like the good kind, but obviously the good kind is expensive for a reason. So I'm just going to add a little, um, a little diamond. Something cute here. How much would this set be? 
Well, it all depends on how, like, if I put the good kind of bling or not. So, I would say if it was, like, good bling, not, like, the little, this kind, definitely about, like, 300 cookies for all this work on both hands. But for the cheaper bling, I would say 200 cookies. Because, I mean, even though it's... Oh, shit, it dried. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Gotta go with the flow, guys. Gotta go with the flow now. Sorry, I already fucking forgot what I was saying. Um. Oh, I was talking about pricing, huh? That's just me, you know? If a client lets me freestyle on their nails, I will always hook them up. So if this would normally cost them 300 cookies, I would do it for two, 200 cookies or something like that, you know? Like when people let you do something that you wouldn't normally do to them and they're giving you the chance to do something that you're creative little mind no not that like if they're letting you be creative i always hook it up a little bit you know because not anybody is willing to do that for you but that's just me because i want to be creative i don't want to do something simple as fuck i guess we'll just leave it at a little angle hook or some shit Now I'm just gonna ooh, leave that one like that. It was not supposed to be squiggly, but that does look kind of cute. Um, the way you just went with it and it's still coming out beautiful. Oh, thank you, girl. It does. It did come out kind of like, eh, huh? Like, like it could be a thing. This could definitely turn into a butterfly. That could be like the little thing, and then the little butterflies. Do you guys think this is good enough or should we do the rim of the bling? That's it, huh? That's it. That's it, Zule. Stop it. Asking for a friend. What did you ask? Um, Where's your... My son said pretty. That's how you know. That's good stuff. Oh, how cute. Walk away. <laughs> All right, let me let me spray spray that bitch. Ooh, honey. So again, the glue activator is so that you your glue can fully dry. Even though the glue dries by itself, you can never you can never be too um careful with it. The last thing you want to do is for your um, top coat brush to harden when you're putting the top coat in a little bit. Or for your bling to turn, um, for the bling to turn white or foggy. So if your bling ever turns foggy or whatever, it means you need a little bit of activator. And then <laughs> you got a headache through the screen. And then you need to clean them with a napkin. So I'm going to... Hold on. Let me clean the nails. Right now, you guys are going to see the glitter, actually, that I put on the middle finger. And it's going to pop. I totally forgot that it had glitter until right now that I sprayed it. It has holographic sparkles. So it might not really even need to... Um, I might not even have to put bling on it because it's going to sparkle right now. Alrighty. I do want to put more bling on the middle, but I need to go with my family and watch some TV before I go to sleep. 
Have you ever thought about opening a store for people to want to pick up in person? Yes, Abigail, I have. I've even... Look it, look it, look it, look it, look it. Ooh, you guys forgot about that, huh? I have considered, but it's not worth for me to do that at the moment because we were just talking about this earlier. Rent is so expensive. Like... A lot of people already ask me for discounts and I don't have to pay rent in an additional location. Like right now, I pay rent at the salon for me to do nails. But it's nowhere compared to three, 4,000 cookies of rent for a shop. So I'm like, ooh, no thanks. I'd rather give you guys a little discount here and there with like my scoops and stuff than have to pay all that kind of money in a in a store at the moment it's just not it's not something i'm gonna be doing anytime soon how are your nails holding up from yesterday did all the bling stay yes ma'am is there um i work in east l.a And then lights. Lights. Camera action. So I'm just going to put top coat at the cutic. I mean at the nude part. Because the sugar is going to stay like that. And then. I already put top coat on that one. Are you guys ready for the middle finger though? We all forgot that it had glitter. So check it out. Check it out. God, it has sparkle. I actually do a lot of short nails. I just don't post them. I don't post them all. Just uh, like one or two a month. I'll put a little top on here. I saw your nails from a distance on Saturday and I was obsessed. I kept telling my mom, I can't wait for your nail. What the fuck? What do you mean on Saturday? Where was I at on Saturday? Abigail, where'd you see me at? Oh, there, that's it. I'm done. I'm like, are you stalking me, Abigail? Nah. Were you my client or something? All right, let me put Abigail. <laughs> let me put these in the lamp real quick. Girl, spill the tea. Where was I? <laughs> and why did you not say hi? Before you go, I see orange set glow. Oh, you want to see them glowing? Yeah, before I go, I'll let you guys see them glowing. She said you were at Target. I didn't go to Target. You mean, was I in El Super? With my mom playing with the beans? <laughs> no, I was not able to pop them off. The thumb lifted a little bit, but that's it. Because I was shy and I felt like it wasn't appropriate at the time to go up. No, we're in. No, we were in. And East LA at a place. At a place. You mean the funeral home? Were you there? How long would a full set like this hand take you? Um, About four hours. A lot of detail going on in here. 
Oh, okay. Were you sitting in front of me, bitch? And you didn't even do, turn around and say hi? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to be doing... Yes. Oh, and I could feel it. You were talking shit about me. I right, just kidding. <laughs> um, you should have turned around and said, hey. Because I'm thinking, like, I didn't see anybody with a mom besides the person sitting in front of me. Um, yes, I'm going to be doing scoops again, but I don't have a date yet. I'll let you guys know as soon as my, my products are ready. My mother is helping me, um, how do you call it? prep for everything actually let me clean the bling bling let me clean it real quick damn you heard me with the cheese me huh then me watching tiktoks while we were having a service y'all were probably like pinche vieja callate no te <laughs> no te callas a la verga Just flash her your nails. That's funny. Oh my god, that hand looks so real. I thought it was a real person. It is. Her name is Toxica. For a second, I was like, bitch, did the blink fall off? So check it out. These are the nails. Like, we didn't really need bling on the middle finger after all. You really looking for another mom and daughter duo? Yes, like, I have a bad memory, but I remember that. It's because my mother-in-law's mom um, passed away and they did her services on, like, their viewing on Saturday. So I'm like, what did I do on Saturday besides go to work? So I had to kind of like um, retrace my steps. I'm like, okay, I went to work first. Then I went to the viewing. Then I went to El Super. And that's all the places I was. So I had to be there. And then I know most of the people at the viewing. So I was like, okay, let me think of the people I didn't know. They were sitting in front of me. And I do remember, Abigail, I think you turned and you looked. And you smiled, but she was just being nice. So I was like, eh, I wouldn't think much of it, you know? So I'm over here thinking like, okay, who the fuck did I know not know there? And it was her. It was her. <laughs> Child, I have amnesia. I don't know what I did yesterday, girl. I have a bad memory. <laughs> I cannot remember to text a bitch back, but I remember who was sitting in front of me. <laughs> that was funny. All right, and then here's the thumb. Ooh, honey, it's so beautiful. That is so funny. I can't believe I remember that shit. Like, girl, I don't even remember what the fuck I ate today. Abigail, you probably related to your auntie. I don't know, girl. You related to them? How do you know them? Now I need to know. Mm, that's funny. No, I froze up and didn't know whether to say or not. Well, you should have said hello. No. No muerdo. <clears throat> All righty, guys. Call me for, call me for at this point. They're so beautiful. Thank you. So pretty. I did mine today. Pink cow print. Ooh, Dory. Call me Dory. I know I'm Dory as well, but sometimes I remember shit. I just play dumb sometimes. And just kidding. All right, everyone. I've known Kimmy for a long time now and got to meet their grandma and just wanted to pay my respects. Oh, okay. Damn, so you heard when I called her boyfriend a toxico, huh? <laughs> Everybody knows, so fuck it. I, already, I said what I said. Call her Tia. The only people you didn't know knew you for real. Ooh. <laughs> I was telling my mom, 
I was like, look, that is El Toxico. That's what I heard, okay? But anyway, thank you guys for hanging out with me. It's time to say goodbye. 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 <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to go show me some love on my... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We need to see the glow. You want to see the, the glow. Hold on, guys. They want to see the glow of my nails. Let me turn off the lights. All righty. Hold on. I got to charge them up because I have not been outside. All right. They want to see my nails glowing. Let me turn off the light real quick. Zule is tired. Uh-huh. When you're going live again. I don't know. Possibly on Friday. Maybe Thursday. I don't know. I don't know. I have to go to work tomorrow and then. See, that's Amnesia Zule. <laughs> All righty. Hold on. Let's get some. Some glowing. Look, these are already kind of glowing. Do you enjoy your job? I sure do. I love my job. I just don't love talking to, well, not, not talking to people, but dealing with some people. It's hard to deal with people. That's the only part. Sometimes I don't like people that give attitude are the ones who I, I don't really um look forward to. But for the most part, all my clientele is amazing. So I do enjoy my job still. Alrighty, guys. Those are the nails. I should probably take a picture together like that. Huh. Because they go well. Bello. Dios te bendiga. Gracias, amiga. All right, guys. Ahora sí, ya me voy de veras. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Good night. Have beautiful dreams. And uy, I'm almost falling. Don't forget to show me some love on my social medias. All right? Porque este show no fue gratis, eh? eh kidding, not kidding. Okay. One more view of the nails. Love. Good night, everyone. See you later, alligators. Bye. Thank you for thank you for hanging out with me, and thank you to all my moderators for coming through, honeys. Yes. Goodbye. Una noche más. Y copas de más, tú no me dejas en paz, de mi mente no.